The teething process for babies can start at four months old. The drooling, the fussiness could be an indicator that it's time to help them out with one of those cold teething rings. But some are safer than others. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is here with all the details on this. Good morning. Good morning, guys. So I'm sure that you've heard of concerns about BPA in plastic, lead in paint, but you might not have dreamed they could be in the product that your baby is chewing on. So for the best kind of teethers, I got information from the Chief Medical Officer of Te Texas Children's Pediatrics. A lot of products claim to be BPA free, but why does that matter in your baby's toys? We don't know how much BPA is harmful, but in babies, we would rather not have any if we can. Dr. Stanley Spinner, Chief Medical Officer and Vice President of Texas Children's Pediatrics, says silicone is the best choice for teething. He also says to buy domestic. You can only be confident that USA made products have regulations against harmful chemicals, so especially use caution when buying online to know where the teething ring comes from. Some of the older products may have lead in some of the painted objects, for instance. So we really recommend keeping it, uh, if you can, domestic, if possible, number one. Number two, plastic, certainly over any kind of metal. Uh, solid piece, you don't want pieces that can break off that become choking hazards. And he says, do not freeze teethers. Babies have suffered you know, injuries, frostbite and so forth. So freezing is not something we, we, we are recommending anymore. You can make it cold in the refrigerator. So a cold washcloth or a, or a cold you know, teething ring, but we don't recommend that it be frozen. And last, keep in mind that the FDA recently weighed in on teething jewelry, saying it should not be used due to strangulation and choking incidents. So I have seen a lot of babies have uh, necklaces with the various little pearls on them, those can break off. Now, something else to mention are the natural teething products found in liquid form. A lot of those, you know, are sold in like health food stores. They're marketed to teething, but Dr. Spinner says that he does not recommend using these products because it's one of those things that we don't know a lot about them. We don't know what's in them, and therefore we can't really say if they're safe or not. Yeah. There's so many options out there, so it's good to kind of narrow it down options. a bit. Yeah, I was surprised. Don't freeze them anymore. Mm, yeah. Just keep them cold in the fridge.